Okay, welcome to the uh, final video in this CCM JS um, screencasting. Uh, we will be seeing about box geometry and uh, the way in which uh, we can uh, append uh, labels to it as well as uh, left click on the box geometry to change its color, then click on it once again to have its color change to uh, back, back where it was in its original color ok. So, let us copy the box geometry code control C go back there have it pasted here save it superb. Let us go over the code uh, well uh, it starts right from the script. So, the other part is just the hello world program if you see the code uh, it, it would still be in the hello world mode. So, uh, nothing was there un until unless we pasted it. So, if you still see that you would see hello world ok that hello world is taking out somewhere from uh, there should be a hello world here somewhere. Here hello ah, there is the title. So, hello world is there ok, uh, but we are writing only between the script tag. So, uh, you remember the place wherein I told that we are going to strip away most of the things which we do not want and uh, start using that as a regular thing going forward. Well, uh, this is where it is uh, going to be uh, wherein the animation is false, home button is false, um, the Columbus uh, scene mode is Columbus view which I have commented out. Um, if, if needed we can un have it uncommented then the global lighting is enabled ok. So, this up to here you have already seen ok. So, starting from uh, here ok, here we are creating a variable called primitives and we are assigning scene dot primitives to it. Then uh, coming down we create a variable called dimensions I will let you know why, why we are creating variable because we will be referencing these variables inside the geometry instance which is over here ok. Uh, so, dimension is going to be x, y and z that is the dimension then the position on ellipsoid is going to be given from uh, Cartesian 3 coordinates of uh, longitudes and latitudes. Then box model matrix um, uh, is a variable which is defined so that uh, we can get this translated onto a globe. Uh, that is how I read it. Uh, then box geometry um, is box geometry is going to have the invocation of this particular dimensions here ok. Then uh, coming on to the geometry instance itself. So, the geometry instance would require a geometry uh, which is already defined up here which is box geometry ok. If box geometry is not defined we have to write this entire piece of code inside here ok that is why it is defined outside and we are just calling the variable. Then model matrix we have defined the model matrix here um, box model matrix here we are taking that and substituting it over here for model matrix ok. Then the attribute is going to be uh, giving it a color uh, from color geometry instance attribute from color uh, we are going to assign it a value of red ok this is red if this is on this is green if this is on this is blue and this is alpha value. So, red uh, is the value which we give and the id which is associated with this with it is called as rod ok. Uh, since it is box geometry uh, just given it as rod and this is the height parameter which is the rod sticking out of the globe would be up to this height in length uh, altitudes otherwise. Then uh, we are creating one more thing called as a label ok and uh, we are calling the label collections and we are trying to add uh, a text called some place hyphen 70 ok at this particular Cartesian coordinate and the scale of this some place at 70 uh, font size is going to be 0.6 superb. Then we are adding that particular label to uh, adding this label to primitives ok uh, primitives dot add. Then we are defining another uh, primitive wherein we are going to add the box geometry. So, geometry instance box geometry instance this one 
is defined here then the appearance is going to be per instance color appearance translucent closed other things okay then this one gets closed here then um, under the scene primitive dot add we are going to add this particular primitive so that the bar gets plotted on the scene then here comes the event handling part wherein if we click on it we want the color to change and click on it once again the color gets reverted so uh, see I am not a developer or coder by uh, profession so my code will definitely lag in what uh, real coders do so uh, anyway I would explain what, what I have done here so I have created a flag variable and set it to 0 ok then create a handler uh, we, we have already seen this handler uh, some time ago then we are going to set an input action for this handler what is the input action going to be look at the last parameter which is a left click ok if this left click were to happen on that particular uh, screen canvas ok uh, then this function would exec get executed ok going inside there we are trying to pick up the movement position from scene pick so uh, if the cesium defined pick ok this one and the pick id is rod rod is defined where here so where is this rod defined um, it is under this geometry instance what is this geometry instance for this particular box geometry what is this box geometry is for uh, this dimension what is this dimension it is over here ok so this is a box geometry so if we were to click on the box geometry the pick id would also be equal to rod alright and we log something on the uh, console saying that the mouse click the rod then uh, if the flag is already 0 which it is currently uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to get the attributes of that rod ok then uh, change the attribute color to this particular value of green ok the else if uh, then then we are setting the flag value of 1 then since this if condition satisfied we won't go into the else we will come out then if we click on it once again it will come back inside it will check whether the flag is 0 since it we have already set it to 1 it will go to the else part else part we are again defining the color of the rod to red ok and we are setting a flag to 0 once again you click it it will go through the loop once again since the flag is 0 because we have set it here it will go into this particular if condition the next time it will go into the else so that is how it alternates here and there ok let us go to the browser have it refreshed so you see the label getting plotted immediately some place at 70 that is coming from this one some place hyphen 70 ok give it some more time for it to load or has it loaded ok then let me click on refresh one more time ah ok yeah now you see the rod alright so let me type control shift i to get the console wonderful now try zooming in a bit yes you you see sun is going to rise in washington dc in some time just click on it left click on it so i can see that mouse click the rod and it became green okay and the flag my flag is zero let me click on it one more time it becomes red mouse click the rod and my flag is one if i click on it one more time it becomes green you click on it one more time it becomes red okay so that concludes uh the cesium uh, video uh, created by me so if you have any feedback uh, uh, do let me know my email address is present here and um, sorry if i have uh, conveyed some wrong message across because i'm just a, a newbie to the cesium as a whole okay thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye